So, okay, so recording, we got everybody on, and we're so excited. I just told everybody that I am your biggest cheerleader. Yay! Okay, anyways, so we are going to have some great, great um, weeks coming up, and I'm super excited. And I first of all want to let you know that those of that were just on, they heard a secret. Nobody else knows, and they're not going to tell anybody else, but they know something you don't know. <laughs> Anyways, okay. It's always fun to know something nobody else knows. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to be talking tonight about the 12 days of the party. So you're probably saying, the 12 days of the party, what is the 12 days of the party? And those of you that are going, I'm going to try to talk slower. Those of you that are going <laughs> to Fall Fest, um, Allie is going to be training on this, and it's not impossible that you might see her pop on tonight. She, um, she's, a, she's got two or three hour time difference, and she was going to try to pop on for a few minutes. So, but I want to tell you a little bit about what is the 12 days of the party. Well, we all know that there's the 12 days of Christmas, and we all know that that's a song that everybody sings around Christmas time. But we're going to talk about the 12 days of the party and how, um, in your mind, if you have a belief that you can do this, you will do it. Um, and if you believe you can't do it right from the start, you're not going to do it. But the thing that's important is if you go for this challenge, there are going to be people in our organization that are going to go for it and they are going to make it. And there is going to be an award for, a reward for people that make it. Um, I did want to mention that. Um, some of the people won't be hearing about it now until Saturday, but you have a head, head start on it. And the 12 days of the party all starts, I gotta get my notes out here, it starts the day after Thanksgiving. Now you actually could be doing a couple parties, um, we just had a couple of people join us, you could be um, actually doing the parties a couple days before Thanksgiving, but we know that the Friday after Thanksgiving is our, um, you know, is our close to our Tupperware month. So we are looking at doing 12 Tupperware parties, turning 12 Tupperware parties in, in for the month of December. And you know, we are looking at the busiest days of the month and the best 12 parties would be real 12 demonstrations. Um, some of you might go, I don't know if I could do 12 demonstrations, but you might do six demonstrations, three Facebook parties, two book parties and a fundraiser, but you wanna really go for 12. And the reason you want to go for 12 is the nicest thing about Tupperware is when you get to the 15th of December, it's nice because the holidays are here and you're ready to take time off and be making your cookies for Christmas and everything. And um, it's, it just is going to be rewarding because if you take 12 parties times a $500 party average, you're going to sell $6,000. And when you sell $6,000, you're going to make $1,500 in cash. Now, I, you might be going like, no, I don't think I can do this. You got to get that out of your mind. You just say, I could do this. I could do this. And I'm going to share with you that the first week of December, um, 20, well, actually, I can tell you it was like 35 years ago. The first week of December was Tupperware's biggest week. That was record breaker week. And I got, a, I, I got married in it. And, um, but not, we're, we're going, you know, and I did like eight Tupperware parties, but we're going to be talking about these 12, 12 days of 12 parties of Christmas, and I'm going to actually tell you ideas and themes that you can do. But what we're going to do right now is you'd have $1,500 in December. Wouldn't that be exciting to have $1,500 in cash in your hand? And I'm going to ask you what you would do with it in a second here. I'm going to pick out a couple of you. I don't know if I can see your face. That's really great. And the other, then what's exciting is we know sometimes we get that little charge card out or we go out to eat, we use a charge card or we... Sometimes we just are broke in January after the holidays. And in January, you got to remember when you have a $6,000 December, you're going to get a 10% cash bonus from Tupperware because you get a personal sales volume bonus, and that is 10% of whatever you sell. So you'll have $600 more coming to you in the middle of January. So all together, you're going to have 20 See, what is it, 15 and um, six is $2,100 in cash. And that would be absolutely wonderful. Take 12 Tupperware parties, and if you figure three hours a party, I don't know why that stopped recording. Oh, I don't think it did. Um, if, it, if, you, um, if you did, you know, that. 12 parties times three hours a party, 
that's 36 hours out of your house and you actually have a good three weeks you almost got four weeks that you're three and a half weeks that you that counts for so you really can do it now i'm going to ask a few of you just two or three of you i'm going to pick on you i'm going to unmute you and i want you to tell me what would you do with twenty one hundred dollars in cash and i'm going to go first to shauna knifer what would you use it for shauna I probably would buy my kids more Christmas presents. Oh, we can't hear her. Okay, can you chat it to us for some reason? Okay, we can't hear her. We're doing a Nikki. Okay, Shauna, go, Shauna, go ahead and chat it to us, what you would use it for. Okay, Nikki, what would you use the money? What would you do with it? Um, Probably, uh, Debbie, I think it's you that can't hear. Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay, good. Okay. Um, I would probably, I don't know, pay off some medical bills that I have. You are worrying. Hi, so there, Emma. And, and did you hear what Shauna said she would do? Yes, yeah, she was going to buy Christmas presents for her kids. Oh, that's good, Shauna. Okay. And Melissa, we're going to go to Melissa here a second. I'm going to unmute her. She looks like she's sleeping. Okay. <laughs> what would you do with yours? Um, Melissa? Probably buy stuff for the girls Christmas. Okay, great. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and mute you back. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some different slides and some different things. Now, you want to get a notebook. Hopefully, you got a notebook paper there or whatever. And I'm going to tell you some different kinds of parties you could do for these 12 days of the party. You could do different party theme with you know, you could do a different party theme. You could do 12 different party themes. You could say, these, I'm doing 12 days of the Tupperware party. And so these are the 12 kinds of parties I'm doing. Which one do you want to take out of my 12? And you could type up the paper. You could show it up on Facebook and let people pick the, which one of the 12 they want to do. You might just say, I'm doing 12 days of the party. And these are the four types I'm doing. Uh, I want to mention to you, Sean is on and she's brand new. You don't have to have a whole different kit in order to do a different kind of party. You're just kind of like thinking of a different theme. And I'm going to kind of give you some ideas on these themes. So you're not like going, okay, well, that's great. But how do you do that kind of party? And how do you do that kind of party? But I will tell you this, even if you don't remember or we don't get through every kind of party, how to do it, it's okay. Because once you date it, you just put on Facebook, how do you do this kind of party? And everybody will tell you how they do that kind of party. So there's no worries in Tupperware. We don't have problems. We only have situations and we can find the answer. That's like new consultants when they don't have their kit yet and they think they need their Tupperware kit before they can date parties. You don't need the kit today, the day you date them, you need it for when you're doing the party. And there's been times where um, I've had situations where I've done Tupperware parties with no kit. I remember back years ago when I went to a party and I didn't realize my husband had taken my kit out of the back of my car and I got there and I had no kit and I had no order forms, but I had catalogs. And so I told him Tupperware is running out of supplies left and right because we are so busy and our business is so busy and full. Everybody wants Tupperware. So they took pieces of paper and wrote their orders down and I got in her kitchen and I showed pieces of Tupperware out of her kitchen and in the catalog. So, okay, here's the 12 ways. I'm going to tell you 12. One kind of party you could do is you could do a recipe exchange. Favorite recipe, you know, everybody brings their favorite recipe for the holiday. It could be a holiday, a, hol a, bake, a baked item. It could be any, a cookie recipe. You could have a, a, a holiday cookie recipe. So, you know, whatever, but, you know, favorite recipe party. Number two is a holiday brunch party. And the holiday brunch party is where the hostess has it more at like 11 or 12. And you could take your um, you could take your your power chef, and you could teach people, talk to people about you know using their making their um, you know their omelets and the breakfast maker. But you would actually you know talk about brunch, um, and the hostess could have brunch type you know snacks. Three is a blizzard party with winter coming. You could teach them how to make their blizzards in that power chef too, or in the quick chef, and how to chop up the cookies or whatever in the top you know with in the um, one of our choppers and then add the ice cream. Um, you could do a wind down Wednesday party. On a Wednesday, you know, it'd be parties on Wednesday. You could have a wind down Wednesday party 
you know, the hostess could have wine and, and cheese and whichever. Um, if you have the cheese grater, you could show that. You can show the Tupperware, the bottle opener. Even if you don't have some of these products, it's okay. It's all right because you can talk about them in the catalog even if you don't. Don't forget, too, if there's consultants near you, sometimes they'll loan you different pieces, too. Um, another party might be the DD, the DD party, which is dips and desserts. And dips and desserts um, are, the dips and desserts would be like, you know, you could make a dip. You could, one of the easiest dips, if you just purchase a package of our Tupperware seasoning, like the Southwest Chipotle, that is a great one. And all you do is add it to sour cream, like a small container of sour cream, like a tablespoon, mix it up. And then if you let it set for about 15 to 20 minutes, it hydrates. And that is such good chip dip. It's great, a great dip on crackers. So you could do dips and dessert. Um, so you could, you know, that would be another choice. You could do a ho, ho, host party, ho, ho, host, <laughs> and a ho, ho, host party. What that means is the host is going to be getting lots of great gifts but also you're going to show people how to shop on their seat instead of their feet. And they're going to be able to purchase Tupperware items for the holidays. And what you could do, you could do this at all your parties from Thanksgiving on put two and you, you should also, you should also do this. If you're ever doing a bridal shower party, um, I know Melissa's getting ready to do a baby a Tupperware baby shower party. And what you do is you put two order forms in each catalog or in each folder. And then you take, and you get like um, a holiday sticker and you stick it on one of the order forms. And then if it was a baby shower or a bridal shower, you could get bridal shower stickers. And then you tell them you have two order forms. One order form is for you because I realize you might want some Tupperware. And the other order form is for if you're purchasing something for the host or for your holiday gifts. And people sometimes too, they have a different budget for their, their um, Christmas gifts. So they could actually, then they know, you know, which budget they took it out of. Any orders that you take, I'm telling you this as a little hint, any orders you get after December the 9th that you're going to put in yourself, if, you're, if they're putting them in the website, they're fine. But if you're putting the order in after December the 9th, I would recommend it'll come back before the holidays until at least December 15th. That's what Tupperware said. But I would recommend after December 9th or 10th, you do tell that customer that you'd like to direct ship it to their house. It will be just an extra four fifty for FedEx. And I always call shipping and hand. I never call it shipping and handling. It's always FedEx because it comes FedEx. And the five percent of our packages that come by postal by the postal office is because FedEx hired the post office to deliver it. So it's not because Tupperware, you know, actually sent it from the post office. It actually went to FedEx first. Um, so I would just tell them, I recommend you do that because then it's going to come right to your house and you're going to get it faster because if your hostess gets it on December 24th and now that person needs it, your hostess doesn't want to leave December 24th to go drive over to a friend's house to drop it off. But any orders after December 9th, this is what I would say. Shauna comes up with their order form and I would just say, oh, Shauna, oh, I love, oh, I love these things you got. Oh, I'm just wondering, are, are these for you or are these for gifts for someone? Oh, they're for me. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, and they'll be back in the next couple of weeks. If she says, oh, this shapeo ball is for a gift, then I'd first recommend, why don't you take advantage of getting that $39 set in the flyer? Because that's a better deal. But also, I might recommend so that you make sure you get it in time because of the holiday. I would prefer if we could just add an extra $450. On that way, it'll come right to your doorstep, and it'll come fast. Is that okay? Would, you, would that be okay with you? And then go from there. Okay, next party. Next party is gift giving party. And a gift giving party is where you're going to give them ideas on all the different products that are great gift giving. And there's some awesome sheets. I don't know if you've seen them yet. And if you need them, I will send them to you. But even in our flyer right now, it's not like you have to create anything. Tupperware does it for you most of the time. Um, in our flyer, You'll see that, you know, they have different, they show different gifts, but there's many, um, there's flyers out there that'll say gifts under $25, Tupperware pieces under $35. So you can kind of give them ideas and you can also put bows on all the different products because Tupperware makes an awesome gift. Another idea would be Margarita Monday. You could be making margaritas at your Tupperware party. 
juice. They can be alcoholic. As a host, they can be non-alcoholic. Um, but you could do a margarita Monday party. Another party that you could do is um, a can the candy making party where everybody make you know you make some candy. Some of the easiest candies to make um, that I make a lot because <laughs> uh, I'm into easy, easy and few ingredients. People don't like sometimes buying all these ingredients they're never going to use again. And one great one which we've been sharing at our parties a lot is the for candy is the a fudge recipe where it's just a can of frosting, chocolate frosting, or it could be vanilla frosting, regular frosting, not diet, not whatever, regular. It could be generic, it's okay. And then a regular jar of peanut butter. And you, you just dump those two things together in your either your stack cooker or you could put it in the vent and serve without the seal on, just dump it in for, and you're not gonna leave it in there only for about 30 to 40 seconds. And then once you dump it in, after it softens, now you mix it up and you can spray our um, large store, stores a lot. Um, not stores, but our large, gosh, our old cold cut keeper, large store, large stores, you know what, you know, one of the rectangular square containers, one of those, or even the, or the vent and serve. And you know, you could use that too, because I usually actually use a vent and serve. Spray it and pour that out, put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes and it'll harden up and then you have Fudge. And if you put you use the crunchy peanut butter, I like the crunchy. The crunchy peanut butter will actually make it look like there's nuts in it. Okay. And then um, another really good one to, to use um, is the Oreo bark. And the Oreo bark is so simple. And what you do with Oreo bark, you could do an Oreo party. Um, you could do lots of Oreo things. <laughs> you could do Oreos and make Oreo blizzards. Um, you could crunch the Oreos up and then you just again take um, the the white bark, a block of the cube of bark that you can get at the um, candy store, or, you know, at some of the, um, like Michael's and some of those, they have the, the chocolate bark, and then it, it, it has a different bit of consistency, and you actually blend that, melt that down, and again, in the microwave, really few seconds, because um, chocolate has a lot of fat and sugar, and what the microwave loves is fat and sugar, so you don't, should only be melting butter and things that are vent and serve material or the stack cooker material or if you have ultra pro something like that um, but you just mix that together spread it out on the silicone mat and again if you don't have these pieces you can just tell people about it spread it on the silicone mat flash freeze it in the freezer bring it out tip it over pull that silicone mat will just pull right off and break it apart right, and you've got your oreo bark so you can have an oreo party you could have happy hour Friday, have a happy hour right after work. People come right after work, and, you know, they come over, they see what's new in Tupperware. Um, you might have cash and carry. You know, once you get down into the last, like the 15th, 16th, 17th of the month, if you have stock that you're not going to sell, um, you might actually go ahead if it's not, you know, scratched or anything. If people want to purchase it, let them take it and then just reorder it to put it back into your kit, because I'm, I'm not trying to be negative, but most likely after about the 20th of December, you probably won't be doing parties for probably close to the beginning of the year, and so you could actually just have an order come back to you, a direct ship order that'll be the things that you sold at your Tupperware party out of your stock, um, so you, you, know, you could do that. Another one is a candies and cookies party. People, people could bring, um, they could actually bring a dozen, a cookie exchange party. They could bring a dozen cookies or um, 12 pieces of candy to exchange and then switch them around. Um, you could have a, um, you, you could do a, you know, a fry, you, you could do, you, do you, you got the idea, but I'm giving you, I think, almost all of them here. But you don't know, just, you want to have lots of different ideas. Now, if you look at your date book, I'm going to share this with you. You have 21 days between November 26th and December 16th. So 21 days to do 12 parties. So, so it's 21 days. It's not 12 parties in 12 days, but 21 days. Um, it normally, the 12 days of the party start after Thanksgiving, but like I said, you could put a couple in there a day or two before. Okay. And, um, you want to let everybody know that it's going to be fun and exciting and you're so excited. You might even want to do something where you tell the number one, you give a challenge, and the number one hostess that from your 12 days of the party 
when you hit your $6,000 in sales, you're going to give away a $60 gift card to Red Lobster or a $60 gift card to Toys R Us or whatever. Um, you might go, Debbie, do I have to give do I have to give $60? Wait, you don't have to do anything. You might have a hundred, you might have $50 in Tupperware you might want to give away. But honestly, remember, you're gonna get a six hundred dollar bonus check because you hit six thousand, so you give sixty dollars of it. You could do something special for that hostess, you know, that maybe has the most in sales. Uh -huh. And um, and what's neat about it again is you're gonna make fifteen hundred dollars in December and you're gonna make six hundred dollars in uh, January. And uh, I'm, now what I want to do is I'm gonna share some different pictures with you because I just want you to know that people are out there shopping. And if you make it fun, and I'm going to share with you too, people love showing off their Christmas tree. If you know people that love Christmas and they put up a Christmas tree, they love to decorate. A lot of times nobody sees their decorations. So just say, hey, why don't you, you know, I, I'd love to see your Christmas tree and I bet other people would too. Why don't you have a few girlfriends over to see what's new in Tupperware? And if they can't do it then, date them for January or date them in the, after Christmas. Um, okay, so um, you want to get in four, Saturday, if you're coming Saturday to Fall Fest, you want to bring up a list of a whole bunch of people that you want to call to date parties with. If you get, if you're on here tonight and you're coming on Saturday, if any party that you date now, you're going to count it on Saturday like you dated it on Saturday because I said you can do that. Okay, so you want to bring your hostess's name, their phone number, and the date of the Tupperware party. Um, during the lunch on Saturday, they're going to have a big data thon. And so any party you date, you're going to go into drawings. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. But I'm telling you that any party you date now through then, you can count them. You just go ahead, though, still, and put them in your um, party summary. And um, so every time you date a party, you want to put it in the party summary. Let me just see here a second. I'm going to go out of here. And I just want to mention to you where that party summary is. This is like your, oh my, this is like your Tupperware website right here. And um, then this is one of my friends here. And when you click on my sales right here, oh wait, I forgot, I'm not sharing the screen. I'm going to share the screen. Wait a second here, share screen. I just realized I didn't share the screen. Share the screen. Okay, and when you share the screen, you don't have to do this, but okay, here you are. Here is the website. Here's the click countdown orders for today. And I thank all of you for your patience today. It'll be better tomorrow. <laughs> okay. And then under um, the training, by the way, for new consultants, again, to, it demonstrates your whole kit. But under my sales, you look down here and it says personal summary. And when you click on personal summary, it pops up. And every single time that you date a Tupperware party, you're going to put your parties in these little slots here so we can see all your parties coming up. And that's how Tupperware knows how many parties and how much Tupperware to have in sales. So, you know, it's important to um, have that. The other thing is, I'm gonna show you some awesome pictures that I'm gonna, are gonna help you with your 12 days of the party. Because one thing that will help you is if you, if you, and I don't want you to be turned off because there's more information I'm going to give you. I want to say you're turned off. But I want you to really think you could do this because Nikki's like, well, you can do this. Shauna, you can do this. Krista, you can do this. Melissa, you can do this. You all can do this. I know you can. I really know you can. And um, you're going to show off and show everybody that you can do it. So let me just go back here a second. Okay, I've got to just come out of this big screen right here. And I'm going to show you some ideas. Okay. Um, okay. All right, first of all, I'm gonna show you this here. Um, this is, you, know, you wanna think about trying to get nine Tupperware parties, it'll get better, nine Tupperware, date, nine Tupperware parties dated by the 9th of December. And some of your parties that you date, they might be, you might go, they might be little, but they might also be big. And um, what you wanna do is, I'm gonna send you this calendar, and you'll see this calendar actually tells tells you and I'm going to PDF it so you can get it so you can print it off or you can make up your own but this is really nice because it shows 12 different Tupperware parties at the bottom that they could pick to do and if you date a party and you have no clue how to do one of these parties 
you call me, call your manager, call your director, but just be creative. Um, but, but here you can see the, the days of the party. Now, it does, your calendar will not have, this says November celebration rally. Don't, I'm gonna give you one that's clean because we don't have a rally here. You're looking at somebody else's right here. But yours will be completely clean with everything not on here. So you're gonna see everything and you are just gonna date away. Now, something you could do when you print the calendar, you could actually put stickers on the dates you wanna do parties. You could get some Christmas stickers um, and you could actually take that and put it in a, um, take it and put it like in a plastic sleeve. And then what you could do is take Christmas stickers and put them on the dates that are better for you. Like Melissa, I know Melissa, her best party dates, I believe, are Saturday and Wednesday. I might be wrong, but that's okay. I'm just giving you an idea. Um, but you want to, so she knows for sure those dates she wants to probably do parties for sure. And who knows, she might want to do a Saturday morning party, a brunch party, and do a Saturday afternoon party. Honestly, you could easily do 12 Tupperware parties in probably seven or eight days out of that 21 days that are there. And so you just, and what you could do is put that sticker and then under the sticker, you might put a little um, gift, like 25% off any item in the catalog. You could put, you know, um, a surprise bag. You could, you could make up some bags or something to, you know, for the people. You could do something special to get them to pick the dates that you want. But I'm gonna show you something else that you can do. Um, this is some, a picture. And these are actually gift sets. I hope you can see this. I'm gonna to try to see if I can make this a little bigger somehow. I don't know if I can. No, I can't, oh, no, I can't do that. Well, anyways, I'm gonna send you this picture. But, sorry. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> Let me go back here a second. Okay, okay. This is actually some gift giving ideas. Sometimes what happens is if you can take some Tupperware products and you can wrap them up and make them look like a gift, what happens is it puts in people's minds at your parties coming up that Tupperware makes a great gift. And you could take one piece of Tupperware and add, you could take, for instance, um, you know, the impressions, one, you know, you could take a batch of bowl and you could fill it with baking things like a cake mix and a can of frosting and those kind of things. So if you could just, you know, by having visuals on your table, it'll help you sell more because of the holidays. So this is just an idea. And this gal has a paper on here that says, you don't have a party in your date book, don't panic. Here are some simple party options. And what she did, is she actually, she had this at their a sales meeting, and she has a list of different kinds of other parties you can do. And we mentioned all those other parties a few minutes ago, but here are some more in case you can't see it. She has a stop and shop where you have a stop and shop. People stop by your house and they, and you know, they shop, you know, from your table. You might have a scratch and dent sale right now going on. What you do is anything that's scratched or maybe you used it to cook in a couple times at your parties. You tell people I'm having a scratch and dent sale, but I'm also showing what's new in Tupperware and they can take advantage of purchasing some of your scratch and dent things. You can sell it at 25% off. That's actually what you pay for it anyways, and then order a new one. Um, it says in-home parties. Now, these are kinds of parties. So we talked about themes. Now I'm talking about kinds. You have stop and shops, in-home parties, a catalog party. A catalog party is actually a book party where the person takes a book and gets orders. And that's good. Um, we all know that a demonstration is better, though, because then you see people to date because you can't date from a book. You know, normally your hostess doesn't, but you want to give her a challenge to get a dating anyways if she does a book party. A multi-host party. Sometimes you have those people, they just are afraid to do a party by themselves, and or they just don't think anybody will come because that is the number one reason someone doesn't have an in-home party. So if you say, why don't you do a party, who's your, you know, who's your, who's your best friend? Why don't you do a party together? And then you could have, have two parties going on at one time. Um, you could do a competition between the two of them, or you could add the sales together. It's you know up to you. Um, you could do an everyone wins party. If you've never heard of that, I'm going to be also sharing that paper with you today or tomorrow. And that is a paper that tells you how you get a certain number of people to get orders, and then they all win a prize. One person gets the thank you gift. One person gets a half price item. One person, you know, gets the other half price item. 
So everybody wins something. I see Danny's raised her hand. I'm going to come to you, Danny, in a second. I'll look at that chat. And wait, let me look now because what if you can't hear me? I want to make sure you can. I don't see Ian. Danny raised her hand, but I guess, can you talk, Danny? Can you unmute yourself? Let me see here. Um, maybe she just did it. Let me, let me find her here. Participants. Let me go to Danny. That's in. Oh, here she is. Oh, she raised her hand. Okay. Okay. I don't know what. Okay. I don't know what that means. But anyways. Okay. All right. Well, anyways, Danny, could you chat with the questions? That'll help us there. Okay. Another kind of party you could do is a Facebook party. And I am going to. I was going to do this tomorrow, but we've had so many Zooms this week. I'm Zooming some of you out. I don't want to Zoom you out. But I am, I am going to have probably three or four time slots in the month of December, the first two weeks, where I'm going to spend two, four nights doing Facebook parties, and I will help you manage the party. So it's going to be where people will, you'll have, I'm not going to give all, I mean, it's going to kind of tell you real quick here so you know what happens. A Facebook party is great. Back to the demonstration. It's the best way. But if you're doing a Facebook party, I have some videos of some of our top consultants who will be doing, um, we'll start them all at the same time. You'll invite me to every Facebook party if it's one of my Facebook nights. I will be popping in. That's, it's a good thing to do your Facebook party for about one hour and 15 minutes, I would recommend, because people come in and go out. Um, there'll be activities that they can do while they're watching the Facebook party. There'll be mini demonstrations. I've got taped demonstrations that they'll see demonstrations. Um, there'll be drawings. Um, and we keep them really you know, engaged in the Facebook party. So it isn't like they just get on and look at the book and all that. We keep things going. And um, we actually, you know, I don't know, it's, it, it's really engaging. And we'll actually have a time, too, where they actually can all get on Zoom and we'll do a pick a winner type thing. They will actually get out of their Facebook, get onto Zoom with all of us, and we'll pick some winners for gift cards. So it'll be very engaging. So what happens, though, is when you invite me, I can post things on your site. Very important. You never, just so you know this in case you're new, you never have your hostess create the Facebook group. You want a group, not an event, a group. She create, you create the group. You invite your hostess. Then she invites the people. If she creates the group, you are not allowed under Tupperware's guidelines to post anything on that site. So therefore, you need to create the group, but invite her, invite me, and then let her start inviting people. And don't post a lot of stuff until she invites people because they're not going to see it unless they've been invited first, okay? So just a little background, but we're going to do some like 20 to 30 minutes of how this is all going to work. And I'll probably, I'm going to give you the dates, but we're going to do the training next week so you can still date the parties in. You just won't have the dates, okay? Um, and it'll be, it'll, it'll be from like, It'll probably be from 8 o'clock till 9.15 at night. That's what it'll be. We have people that now are in California, and people are settled. Their kids are in bed, so it makes it easier. Okay, also, we have trunk parties. A trunk party? What is a trunk party? A trunk party is where you take your car or your back of your vehicle, your SUV, and you go and you make a pit stop at somebody's work. You know, after, after work, you stop it at the bank when all the girls are getting off, and you have some hot chocolate and you have some donuts, or you have some um, apple caramel cinnamon cake that you made in the microwave, and you just do a little bit of show and tell, you give everybody a gift, you show them what's new in Tupperware. It's a lot of fun. Another thing is a workplace party where um, you actually go into an office. Another is Small Business Saturday is 1126. November 26th is Small Business Saturday. You could actually tell some small businesses I would love to do a service for you. I'd like to come in and do a mini cooking demonstration. I'm doing four that day. Um, these are my time slots. Would you mind if I stopped in and did a small demonstration? I'd like to help your business. You, I'll give you a flyer that you can let them know that I'm going to be here. They can do their shopping. But I'll be here for just 30 minutes to show them what's new in Tupperware and to share a neat recipe and a recipe card. 
I mean, you get to do four or five right there for that small business Saturday. You're doing them a service. Don't feel like they're helping you. You're helping them. And then you tell them, I'm going to be giving you a free piece of Tupperware or Tupperware at a discount for letting me stop in. Hey, it's, it's an event that you create yourself. Another thing that's not on here is a toy party. You can do a kid's party. You could take a big box and get plenty. We get really big ones in Tupperware. Maybe not that big. Take a, um, take a box and wrap it up in, to in kids, you know, Christmas paper. So the outside's all Christmassy, so it looks like a Christmas box. And then inside, put the shape of ball and some of the different kids' things for small children and do a kid's party because, you know, these kids will have it forever. They'll never forget. Okay. Um, I don't know what I did, but okay. So that's that. Now, so those are some ideas on some parties. You've got themes. You know different kinds of parties. And now we're going to look at some other things. And what we're going to look at, let me just see here, um, which one should I show you first? Well, let's go to this. These are ideas. These are amazing. I, I think they did a great job. I'm going to move you guys over here a second. Okay, I can close this, actually. Um, I'm going to show you how, what you do. Some people, what they'll do is they have, you know, you say, I want to do 12 days of the party. I'm going to go for this. I really want to go for 12 days of the party. How would you feel if you only did nine parties or seven parties? I bet you'd still be super excited. And at each one of those parties, you are going to date more parties for January. You are going to, the people that are doing this, and I hope it's all of you on the call, that you'll go for it. You are going to have more parties. You'll be the top sellers in January. But I do want to mention that one thing that will help you is to have a visual. If you have a visual, it gets you excited. It gets the people excited that you're dating parties with. Now, what you'll see here in this picture, because you're probably saying, what is this? First of all, these are some visuals that some of the, um, you know, some of the other organizations in our region came up with, because they actually did their Fall Fest last week. And so on here, you see, first of all, some Christmas ornaments. And the Christmas ornaments that are there, that's an idea that you would get 12 Christmas ornaments. And what you could do is it could be really pretty and everyone that dates a party, you could put a date that you want to do a party on the bottom and, and your goal would be to get rid of those 12 Christmas ornaments and those would be your 12 days of the party. Another idea would be, you see the little, um, you see the, the, sand, the little from the dollar store, you see the, the little, yeah, stockings. And what these people, what they did is they attached to the stocking a little gift card and a keychain. And so what they were doing is every time somebody dated a party, they got to pick a stocking with the keychain. And what they did is they put the picture because they didn't have parties to date from. So they actually went at the girl from what I understand is what this is what a lot of these gals did. They took these items and they put them out on a table and they when um when they would what they would do is they would do a live video and they would say, I'm so excited. You know, um, here I am on my live video. I'm working on my 12 days of the party. My goal is to have 12 parties and I, I got one more. I'm so excited. And I know you're watching right now, Nikki and everybody else. You're probably watching and you might want to do this too. But, um, what I want you to do, um, if you'll do it for me right now on the live feed, if you'll just like comment, which one of these stockings do you want? Or, or you see those gift bags. If you did gift bags, you do one of these. You either do, you do, could do gift bags, you could do stockings, you could do keychains. And so the girl says, I want the, you know, she comments, I want the snowman um, bag with the tissue paper in it. So right live, what right away live, she would open it up and take the tissue paper and say, let's see what you want. And she might say, you know, she wants, you know, you know, $25 in free Tupperware when her party reaches $600. Woohoo, I'm so excited for you. So what it is, it's a visual because you want to think right now, what am I going to go out the next 24 to 36 hours and create to represent my 12 events of the party? Here you see some other ideas. Look at these. These are so cute. This one girl here, they had little shopping baskets. I don't know where you get those little shopping carts, but she put the, the little shopping carts with the little keychains in it. And then what happened is when they dated a party, they got to pick something out of the little shopping cart. And so that was another idea. Then you see the tree. 
That person took the whistle straws, put them in the dollar store Christmas tree, and then she hung the keychains from the um, from the whistle straws. And so they get to pick a straw, and then you could even tell them when they you know when they blow on that whistle. You know that's what's exciting about Tupperware. You can you can um, you know whistle while you work. I know we got to find out where those shopping carts came from. We really do need to find out where that came from. So, but that is so exciting too. And then, um, let's see here. I think I got another picture. Oh, and then you see the little, I don't know if you can see down here. I'm not sure we'll see him in the next picture, but we got the little penguin or the little owl with the keychains hanging. Again, the person got to pick a keychain for dating a party. It, it doesn't have to be gifts. It could just be anything. So, you know, I, you know, these pictures really represented a lot of the the different gifts and then i think i showed this on facebook and you might have looked at it and said i'm not sure what all that is i can't really blow it up here because i don't have um <laughs> i don't have access to making the screen bigger but uh, i did post it on facebook so you might have seen it but again there's another tree with ornaments on it there's really nice stockings that somebody has and they put gifts in the stockings and so they got bigger stockings and they just put the pieces of Tupperware right in there. And so when they picked the stocking, they got a couple pieces. It could be a dating gift. It could be, it does not have to be anything big because you, when you're doing your live, if you do do the live feed or if you're at the Tupperware party, you can say, oh, I'm so excited you got this to start, but you're going to get, excuse me, you're going to get hundreds of dollars in Tupperware and things for half price for having your Tupperware party. I'm so excited. I hope your friends are all coming. Then you see another person made some kind of a, it looks like, I think they're jars. Those, those are lids, like those um, mason jars. And I think they put pieces of Tupperware in there. And then what they did is, you know, they got to pick one of the, one of the mason jars. And I, I think what she told me is that most of them said, like the big thing said, 25% off this when you have your Tupperware party and your party reaches $300 or something. There's smidgets. There's another Christmas tree. And then there was something else somebody else told me. I just It just slipped my mind. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm not sure. Maybe it was a, oh, maybe it was this Christmas tree here. The Christmas tree down here, well, at any Christmas tree, what somebody did is when they bought their dollar store Christmas tree or whatever, um, you might even have an old Christmas tree in your basement. And you know what? Like I said, if you don't have a lot of parties coming up, you date those first two or three and right away, nine by the ninth, and you will date more parties from those still into December. So don't think, Debbie, who am I going to date 12 Tupperware parties with? If you date three or four, right away, right after Thanksgiving, you are gonna date two or three more from those parties right into December. So don't feel like you've gotta have all 12 of them up, but the more you can get up, great. If you can't get them in December, then you wanna get them in the first week of January. But the other idea, or I forget, is you could take keychains and take keychains like the shape of ball. You could take the, um, you know, you could take the, you know, any of the, the lot, any of the keychains and, if you've got some old ones at home that maybe we don't even sell anymore, and what you can do is tell them that when they pick a, pick a keychain out, and if you don't have a lot of different ones, don't worry. Take your Christmas stocking or just draw one out for them, and whatever one you pick, you just tell them, whatever I pick out of here, I'm going to supersize it. So when you have your Tupperware party um, and on the date we schedule, you're going you're gonna to actually get it, you know, and so you get this little shape of ball now, but when you have your party, you're going to get the big shape of ball. Um, you could tell them that if, it's, if I put, pull out something under $30, you'll get it free. If I pull out something over $30, you'll get it for 25% off. And you'll get it for 50% off if the party's $1,000. You could do, you know, give a little bit bigger for bigger on things. So you could do, you want to just be creative and just get really excited about it. Um, you can, here are some different gift sets that some people put together. I'll send you all these. Um, so you see these, oh, here, go vote. That's old. <laughs> okay. Um, but you want to, you know, you want to um, just have fun with it. So you want to have a visual. So um, I'm going to look at the chat again here. Stop share a second here. And let's just look and see. If you have any questions, jot them down. Um, I'm going to, I don't know, I guess not going to stop the share, but stop. Oh, there. Okay. Ooh. All right. Okay. There we go. Okay. And I'm just going to look at my notes here. One thing too, um, there was someone did dips and dogs 
where you could do hot dogs like in the smart steamer and do some different dips. Um, you could, let's see here. And this is, remember the season is the reason for the Tupperware party. And like I said, dine parties by the ninth on the 12th day. Um, there's going to be some goodies on tops and growth. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm not, I, I hate to go there, but I'm going to go there. Let me look at the chat a second and I'm going to share some other ideas with you. I know those shopping hurts too. Let me just look here right from the beginning. I'm excited. What's the order deadline date for Christmas? Yep, okay. The order deadline date is, um, the order deadline date to get it for the holidays right now, as far as we know, is um, December the 15th. Um, I'm like, okay. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, now, um, like I said, you're going to hear some of this, and it'll be really good training at Fall Fest. I will try to actually, just to re-energize in case you're not going to Fall Fest, I will try to sneaky, sneakily tape Allie's training. Um, now, I did want to show you a couple more things on that sheet that I'm going to send to you. Um, shoot, i got to go back and share the screen. But... Um, there are some people on here, and I know, you know, I want you to, I really do want you to try it. I mean, I really would love it if you did 12 parties before Christmas. And, but I want to share with you, if you're on this call tonight and, or this, and you can't, you cannot, you definitely cannot, um, you know, do 12 parties. But you could do nine or seven or eight. I guarantee you, it is going to be so exciting. Your director and your manager, when you are, you know, well, you're, you're going to be tops in sales, and those sales are going to push you up, too, for the end of the year. So you want to get excited about that. But let's see here. I've got to go to that. Let me kind of get out of here. This is our region. Um, exit full screen. Oh, my. Okay, that was that. I'm sorry. I just got to figure out how to get back to my Facebook to where I need to go. I have another sheet. Okay, let me just go this way. You're going to see some other pictures. I have no clue what you're going to see, but it'll be a surprise, and I'm sure you won't mind seeing it, whatever it is. Um, what I want to show you, though, is I, I said I don't want to wait. Ooh, I, have, I have a hard time. Okay, we showed you this. I'm going to send you this, the 12 days of the party, and then this is also 12 days of the party and other activities. This is a really good sheet for you. What you want to do, to, to do is determine your income based on the activities you schedule. What special gifts would you like to surprise somebody with? You know, so you might want to think about doing some special things for others. Now, this shows um, my home parties. If you, for home parties that you do, you can, you can figure about $600 a party. I'm going to share with you, if you, your parties are not normally $600, I have people that live in areas where their parties are normally more, maybe like four or five hundred, but then every once in a while they have one that kicks into one thousand or twelve hundred. And when you're doing six or twelve parties, it's amazing the average will come up, so you'll be making money. Then you have your catalog parties, which are like are um are like the you know the yeah let me make this bigger. It's kind of you know your book parties, catalog parties, kind of like also your Facebook parties. And you want to make sure your Tupper connect in every single party. You want to make sure. Even once you get into the middle of December, you should have all of your tup your January parties Tupper connected because they might want some of the holiday things. Um, then you have my Everyone Wins parties. You know, you have six people that if six people will each do $175 in sales, what's going to happen is that's $262.50 when all six hostesses participate. Then you have office parties, open house parties, Facebook parties. So you can see on here, it's kind of like gives you, you know, to try to like separate them. You want to try to focus in. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention, this is where I didn't want to go and I keep procrastinating talking about it, but I'm going to. You know what? Sometimes you go, you know, Debbie, I don't know if I can really do 12 parties and I really want to like focus on it. I'd love you to try to do it. But something else that you can do is you could say to yourself, I would like to have, um, you know, it's, you might you might change it. I'd like to sell. I'd like to do twelve one. I'd like to get twelve people to sell one hundred dollars. You know, it, 
give everybody that sells a hundred dollars you could maybe give them a set of the dating gift instead of one for a hundred dollars um, you know because those only cost you four dollars or five dollars then you might tell people that when they sell you know so you might get you know you might say I'm gonna try to have 12 people sell at least a hundred dollars and you're gonna have a twelve hundred dollar month or you might say I want to have 15 people because 12 we're talking 12 days of the holiday or 12 days of the party but go for 12 but you always want to shoot for more because just in case somebody doesn't make it another thing that you might do is do 12 days um, you might say I would like to do have 12 if you can't get out and do parties I'd like to do 12 book parties or Facebook parties mixed together you might do that you might say I would like to, to contact to get 12 people to you know to go out and um, be my to where they work and, and let's see who can get the most you might take a lotto sheet we have lotto sheets um, some of you that are new you've never seen these lotto sheets maybe but it's where people go out and they sell lotto they sell lotto spaces they sell little spaces so what happens is when they sell the little spaces when all the little spaces are filled up or even if they don't get filled up you do a drawing among all the money that was collected and that person wins that amount of free Tupperware so you might say I want to get 12 people that work in a company or business to see if they will help me and they will go out and sell these little you know sell these lotto spaces for me to help me have my big month um, so you could do something like that but you want to think 12 you might go you know whatever your 12 is but the 12 days of the party is really is where you're going to maximize your your you know what you're doing you're going to meet a bunch of people even if you do three or four or five in-home parties and the rest you're going to be seeing a lot of people you're going to have you're probably you're probably going to have your team ready to go by the end of December how exciting would it be to be starting January or December off as a Tupperware manager so you want to you know look at it that way um, but I want to let open it up right now for questions and see if you have any questions that I can answer because if I don't have the answer I will ask Allie um, while you're getting your questions done or you're jotting them down I'm gonna give you one more idea and this is something I personally did every single year when I was a Tupperware manager and I didn't do it when I was a I did not do it when I was a Tupperware consultant but I was, only a, I was a consultant like a year and a half before I became a manager it was interesting I said I couldn't recruit anybody and once I decided to be a manager I, all of a sudden they found my recruits <laughs> isn't that amazing but what I did is on Saturday the Saturday after Thanksgiving I had a huge party I sent out invitations and flyers to everybody telling them I was working for my biggest week of the year that week and you could even say your biggest two weeks and your you know my goal is and I told them my goal my goal is to sell six thousand dollars and every order will help me you know I'd love for you to have a party and I actually didn't invite the people to it until after I called them so what I did is I took mailing labels and you could copy your well now you make pictures of them even <laughs> whatever you want to do it's so easy now so what I would do is I would made a list of everybody I called and I invited them to have a party and if they couldn't have one they did date a party then I said would you mind I'm gonna send you an invitation to my party and my party is on I don't know what the date is my party is on Saturday I'm doing two parties I'm doing um, two parties the first party is let me find a party date here it's a Saturday after Thanksgiving my first party which would be um, the 26th my first party is at 10 o'clock in the morning I'm gonna be having me making my um, my dump cake in the morning apple dump cake and then I have a party at two o'clock in the afternoon which one would you, could you come to if you can come to one of those and then because they didn't date a party I did ask them could they come I really said you know which one are you gonna come to and then they I put them on a list and I had two labels one for my 10 o'clock party one for my two o'clock party and then what I did is um, I made the late I write the name and their address got all the information I said I'll send out your invitation we're gonna have so much fun you're gonna love it you're gonna get gifts I'm gonna have some of my scratch and dent Tupperware everybody that comes gets a gift bring a friend um, and it's gonna be lots of fun I can't wait to see you so that's that um, then um, I would call people day parties they would come I sent out a hundred I usually had 50, 100 people I sent out invitations to I had a piece of paper because we didn't have sales flyers back in the day but I had a piece of paper and I said come to my party and if I could if 
you know, if I could drop them off a catalog, I just dropped off catalogs. But they came, if they came, you know, they would come. Usually in the morning, and I talked to all these people, remember, they said they were coming. I usually had about 15 people out of the 50 at each party. And then when they got to my party, and then I told them in the paper, bring, you know, bring $50 in outside orders to the party. Get, you know, get a, you know, get a gift on my little gift basket. And I had just little pieces of Tupperware, things from the dollar store wrapped up. And they would get to pick something out. If they had brought a friend with them, they got something on the basket. If they, um, if they wore their Christmas sweatshirt, they got a, a ticket. So, because I did drawings too. And so it was just a lot of fun. And then when they sat there, when they came in, I did give them a Tupperware party envelope with their a catalog, of, you know, the catalog in it. So we didn't, even, we didn't even have a sales wire. <laughs> All we had was a catalog. We didn't have sales like we do today. So I gave them that when they came in. They sat down, they had a pencil, we had games. I played bingo. We just had a good time. And then my key was, oh, my gosh, you brought orders or they placed orders. And it was like, why don't you all just leave here and go get orders yourself? Look at you already got orders. You might as well just go ahead and do a book party and get more orders. And so if they had $100 in orders, they would get, you could give them the dating package of the dating book. If they had $175, they'd add the thank you gift on it. If they got to 275, they get 10% free Tupperware. If they got to 500, they get 15% and two items at half price. So what happens is you get them there, you will get them excited. And then if they couldn't do it right then, they still tried every, I made them feel like a million bucks. And then they came back because we didn't have delivery then. They had to come, they came back to my house um, when it came in and I had like hot chocolate and donuts and stuff. And we just had a good time. And the people that didn't come, I had two copies of those addresses. And Sunday, I sent out a second letter, handwritten on the handwrote, you know, handwrote. I we missed you at the party. Um, please don't forget. And I had, you know, some pictures of some of the best selling things in there. You could put a catalog in there if they didn't have one. Just want to let you know I'm still working for my big week. So if you can, you know, if you want to, if you can um you know, have, you know, if you can get me any orders, I really appreciate it. And then my, that day turned into a couple, back in the day, I mean, years ago, that day would turn out to be around $2,000 for me. And it was well worth it. And I, it kept me in touch with my people. I dated parties in January. It was great. So I just want, and you could tell the people that are at your party, you got your sales. Um, and also you get to count yourself as one of your bookings because you didn't date a party from any other party. You get to count yourself as one of the datings to get the big gift. So you're going to have a great, you know, it's going to be great. Okay, we're going to like end the meeting here. I want to look at your questions real quick here. And, but I know we are going to have an amazing month of December. And whatever you do, we appreciate it. Now, let me just see if I can manage my, my people here. Um, now, I'm going to unmute all of you. <laughs> If you want to mute yourself, you mute yourself. If it's loud at your house, I'm going to unmute. I'm going to, I'm going to unmute all of you. Oh, wow. Okay. And does anybody have any questions or anything they're doing to have a big month or something they do to have great sales? Yeah. Well, you guys are quiet. No <laughs> questions. Does, did anybody ever? Those little shopping carts anywhere? Yeah, Debbie, I saw them at the dollar store in the summer. Did you? Okay. Was it like the Dollar Tree? Um, yes. Okay, you know what I might do is I'm going to see, or maybe somebody up here could do it. Uh, sometimes, you know, Dollar Tree is online too. You can actually go to the Dollar Tree online, and sometimes you can see <laughs> that you can't get at the dollar store. Yeah, it's online. You know, it's just like going to Kohl's online. You can go to the dollar store online. But, um, you know, but you, have, you have to watch because when I saw them, there might have been five there and four of them were broken. Oh, okay. So check them out before you buy them. They're just so cute. They're just so cute. I just love them. But, you know, but the thing is, is again, if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you won't. You know, go for it. What have you got to lose? And so we got... Um, Danny, Janine, Melissa, and Gary, um, Nikki, Noreen. Oh, I can't really see up Oh, my God. Oh, there y'all are. Okay. Um, Cindy, 
There's there's Charlene. I'm excited, Charlene. Okay, Hi. Cindy Kelly. Okay, and um, but no other questions at all. Can you do it, Tony? You can do this. We can do it. <laughs> you just got you got to be excited because if you tell people, oh, I'm trying to work. You know, I got a challenge. Um, you know, would you, you would you wouldn't want to have a party? Would you don't never you're like. You got to do this. We're going to have fun. I'm so excited, you know, and you know what? People are going to get so much free tough where it's going to be exciting. And um, Danny, I love your picture on here. <laughs> it's like, it's, 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 it sits there. Ooh. Okay. And, um, but it, I want to thank you too. These gals were on that dating parties while we were on that waiting for that, um, to that situation today. I want to stop the recording and thank you all.